Well, the Tartan Festival is something I created out of um, fundraising ideas, but um, because there's a lot of local pipe bands and dance groups and people involved with music, poetry and all in there, it's a very, it's a very like a heritage type of thing. B -b -b an opportunity for the whole community to get involved. You had sort of music from each sector, like you had the Highland bagpipes, and you had the Byron bagpipes, as well as the Lillian bagpipes, and then a couple of poetry speakers from the area. Well, we had all different types of um, dance and music on that day. We had um, Irish dance, and uh, we had Owen Kelly from up from Letterkenny playing the Lillian pipes. We had the third Scottish dancers, and pipe bands from a locality and just different musicians and poetry. I brought a lot of people to the area, not alone our own local community, but people from outside the community came in. And that, that's really what it's all about, is to bring outsiders in to see what we're actually doing, what we're trying to get done here within the, the community and the village and the two parishes, Gaslier and Terman and the biggest success, I would say, was the number of people that is here. From all different areas around here came into it, and from different religions and uh, ages. The CRC would have helped us here with funding, and that was, that's the big thing. If you get some money to start off with, then you can expand and attract people from outside the area. I think the highlight for me was when we started to do a bit of research into the tartans from the local area. It sort of got people excited and they started to do a wee bit of research of their own into family members that would have been in bands. And we started to unearth tartans from bands from years ago that we thought didn't exist anymore. Oh, a large crowd and lovely music and mm -hmm. dancing and, and the tartan, all the tartans.